Mark with the Tree Buds, and we're out here at Rosedale Park. We've got a really nice seed around planted several years ago. You can see the size of this root girdling in this stem. It's girdling at least 50%. If we did nothing, this root, as it got bigger and as this tree got bigger, essentially strangle the tree. So we're gonna come through here and we're gonna uh, work on this. It's gonna take a little while, but probably five minutes of our time, but probably prolong this tree's life by many, 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 many years. So we're gonna show you how we do that. We use our little, our little tool here. We scrape as much dirt as we can. I like to cut out all these roots, that small roots in the way, so you can get your tools in there. Just cut all this small, small stuff. It makes it easier in the long run. Um, so now we can get have some access. We're gonna keep pulling this dirt, dirt away from this, from this root. And I think now we can might be able to use our hand saw. Nice sharp tool. Pull it back from the stem so you don't cut into the main trunk. And there we go, we popped it off. As you can see here, what we can do here, we, we can. This is the root, very, very healthy living, very clear wood. When the um, root system works, this root is not connected to one branch, but instead the water moves into this, into the stem and it moves radially. So it actually provides water to the entire tree. So it's actually okay to prune root. So we're gonna leave this side here. It's, it's basically out. Um, we could probably spend more time getting that root totally up, but we don't have that time right now. So we're gonna move to this side and take out what we can on this side. So this is gonna be a challenge. So again, we're just gonna do the same process in reverse. We're gonna scrape out that soil. And I really like this tool. You gotta be careful when you use it. You don't wanna be scraping the actual stem. Um, but it's really very, very handy. And this pruning will work. You just gotta be kind of use it selectively. So when the, the branch is under a lot of tension, you just make small little incisions. It takes you a little bit longer, but it works. You're just using almost like a knife. You're just you're just trying to use that. See, I'm cutting a little bit more at a time. Now, this is a deep cut. You also gotta be careful, you don't wanna bend your tools or break them because it's very easy to break tools on jobs like this. There it goes. So we're just gonna kind of twist it back and forth. And we're actually, it's kind of like a ratchet effect. You can see we cut through our branch, or our root. And the good thing is our tool still works, so we didn't break it, didn't damage that. That's always one thing you gotta be wary of. So you can see here, now this root is somewhat pliable, but in order to get this totally off, we have to do the exact same thing. Um, in here, but we're gonna have to use the handsaw for this, this part. And so we're gonna, to use that saw, we have to scrape out the soil to get access to be able to get our hand and our tools in there. Anything right there? Look good? Yep, yep, looks good. All right, we got Mark Bird on the, the camera from the city of San Antonio. He helped organize this tree, but it's pretty awesome 
We're having a lot of fun. I just gotta be careful of how deep I cut. This is a very tricky cut because uh, I've obviously there's a stem behind me or on the back side. So what do you think, Bert? You think I'm gonna be my cut? I think you're almost there. I think you a little bit deeper on the bottom end. Yeah, there you go. And you might be able to get your tool in there to break that out. See, so I'm trying to figure out if I can, how deep I can cut. It looks like I can, look like I'm not even close to the coming through in the bottom. So I think I need to cut my saw in the soil a little bit. Yeah, you're almost there, man. There we go. Woo. There it is, yearling root. You can see how it actually came off right here. So this is the um, start of it. It came up here, went all the way around, and this is the smaller side, small diameter. So it was at least 50%. So now all this area will be free to grow all these roots here. So I'm gonna finish cleaning it up, but I think we uh, prolonged the, this tree's life by many, many, many years. So that's from over and out from the tree buds 2019.